This is the Ineos Grenadier, an all-new car from an all-new company but with a distinctly familiar look. Just three years ago, Ineos chairman and car fan Sir Jim Ratcliffe decided to do something other car makers seem to be shying away from, produce a vehicle with off-road ability at its heart, a utilitarian car where form followed function. This is the result, the first car from Ineos Automotive, and a car that takes its name from the very British pub in London where the idea was first formed. Ineos has started with a clean sheet of paper, with the goal to produce a car with three guiding principles. It has to lead on off-road ability, be durable and reliable, and it has to look cool. It's been designed by Brit Toby Ekuya, and this is his first car. He's an architect who's also designed boats. And you may well think it looks familiar. There are clearly lots of Land Rover Defender styling cues in there, including the shape, plus a bit of Mercedes G-Class. No surprise really, as the car's been developed by Magna, which makes the G-Class for Mercedes. And Ineos tells us it's about as tall and long as a G-Class too. Toby doesn't have a problem with the comparisons. He explained to us that when something has to do a certain job, the chances are it will look similar to other things that do the same job. Like a hammer, all hammers tend to look the same. Can't argue with that. There are some lovely design details in there though. We love the rubbing strips down the side that Ineos refers to as the utility belt. You can actually attach accessories to it and they're tethered lower down on the door panels. The flat surfaces on the bonnet are a kind of workbench, so you can work with your laptop on them, sit on them, or just put a cup of tea on them. Under the bonnet will be a choice of three litre, six cylinder petrol or diesel engines from BMW. If you've got to go shopping for an engine, BMW is a good place to go. And there's a ladder frame chassis with beam axles underneath, chosen simply because the Ineos engineers thought that's the best solution for serious off-roading. We won't see the interior for a while, but yes, you'll be able to hose it down. However, we told you can expect 21st century levels of comfort and technology on board, and unlike the old Defender, you'll be able to drive it without whacking your elbows on the door. The bulk of the assembly will take place in a new factory in Bridgend, South Wales, so the Grenadier will be British built, although Ineos describes the car as international. It's some way off though, first cars will be with customers in 2022. There's a testing program covering 1.8 million kilometers to be done first. So how much will it cost? We expect prices to start with a four, but as the Grenadier is classed as a commercial vehicle, you'll have to add VAT on top of that. We reckon that's slightly more expensive than many customers might expect. On the day before Ineos revealed the Grenadier, Land Rover announced the Defender Hardtop, the commercial version of the new Defender, and it could well undercut the Grenadier on price. But so far, the Ineos Grenadier looks like just what the enthusiasts ordered, and we can't wait to drive it.